Mabuhai, Kamustakayo, and welcome to part two of my Cactus and Succulent Collection tour for December. So in this part we'll go through all the plants that are on one of my south facing windowsills. Mostly cacti, but a few succulents as well. So first up is this Aerocythe Snapina. I'll put the names of these all up on screen as well this time. Yeah, I had to put this in the corner of the pot because this has got a really crazy looking taproot on it. If I find the picture of it, I'll put it up on screen for you now. Next is Matukana Madisonorum. Lovely cacti, these ones. Not sure what colour blooms this one's got because it's not bloomed for me yet. You can get red and I think there's an orange and a white one as well. is Astrophyta Mysterious, my all-time favourite cacti. I've got quite a few of these, you'll see in a minute. Another Hysterious, lovely markings on this one. Another one, this one bloomed several times last year. Got seeds out of this one as well. another one this one's called uh, Shinshoa cross this with the previous one you just saw got seeds out of this one as well and this is Matukana intertexta again not bloom for me yet this one Neopateria clavata Brown pops on top of it which is a bit weird Yeah, this one I featured in my oddities video recently I think the growing tip has died on this one which is why it's producing pups on top Kynocereus sporchellus It's beautiful pinkish purple coloured blooms on it this one does. Didn't bloom for me this year but it did last year. Copiapoa Heseltoniana, although I think this is now a subspecies of Copiapoa cinerea. A few markings that developed on it but I think that's just down to the environment, high humidity and things like that. Copiapoa coldrana. Again, this one's developed some nasty marks on it as well. Not quite sure what that is. This is a Copiapoa cinerea hybrid. Vicious spines on this. Again, got a few marks on it as well, but it had most of these when I did buy it. This is an Echinopsis hybrid called Cheam Cream. Looking a bit dehydrated, but they're in their winter rest now. They haven't had a drink since the end of September. Neopateria laniceps. Yeah, nice bristly spines on this one. Not vicious. This is Ferrocactus macrodiscus multiflorus. Cactus, Gracilis coloratus. Lovely red spines on this. I do have another one of these as well, it's about three times the size of this one. This 
Another Ferrocactus, 40. There's spines on this one as well. This is another type of uh, 40 Borealis. Rebutia cranesiana. This one bloomed for me in the summertime. Another Rebutia cranesiana. That's different coloured flowers on it, this one. Got some offsets forming as well. This did get attacked by spider mite, unfortunately. See the damage they've done there on that offset. If you see there, that little red thing, it's actually a little flower bud developing. Neopateria Porcissa Starter. Lovely dark skin cacti, this one. It's got a really deep purple sort of colour when it's stressed. Gymnocalisia Mahanovici. Blooms several times for me in the summertime. A couple of offsets on there as well. Another Gymno, Damsey Variety Rotundulum. Gives a lovely purple colour when it's stressed as well. Euphorbia ubisa, it's been blooming on and off throughout the year. See a tiny little yellow flower there. Yeah, lovely plants these are. Area size house census. Area size curve spina. Lovely curving spines on this one, hence the name. size Taltalensis. Yeah this one's grown quite a bit since I got it. Capiapoa molecular actually bloomed three times in the summer. And then my all-time favourite Copiapoa, Cinerea. And another variety of Cinerea, Albuspina. Area size Felosa. Again, another one that has these bristly spines. Area size Subgabosa. Area size Tartalensis Pilispina. Really nice twisty spines on that one. Again, nice dark coloration on the body of the cacti. Area size Heinrichiana, subspecies Intermedia. Area size Aerocarpa. 
quite similar to Esmeraldana, which I'm about to show you after this one. And these are Esmeraldana. Yeah, a little bit more challenging to take care of area size, especially this one. This is notorious for rotting this one, especially if it doesn't have good ventilation. Area of size, Porcisostata subspecies Glossessens. It's a lovely purple colour when they're stressed. This bigger one was the same colour as that when I first got it. Just love the colour of the aerials on there as well, orangey colour. Another area of size, CRISPR. Slightly different colour that smaller one. Copiapoa hypogea. Again, another one of my favourite copiapoas, these ones. Some offsets forming on it as well. Another form of hypogea, this one called lizard skin. Can see why looking at the epidermis. Yeah, I did have a larger one of these, but it rotted unfortunately a few months back. I'm gutted about that. Epithelantha micromeris. Yeah, unfortunately, spider might pop to this as well during the summertime. See the damage they've caused. Gymnocalisium Fredrici Aguadossi. This is the pure form as well, it only has the single spine coming out of the aerials. Copiapoa tenuissima. This is the monstro's form as well. I'll just grow loads of these heads all over it. You just about see some more coming through the wall there. Fralia cataphracta. Yeah, I recently found out with these, these are actually more tropical sort of cacti, so they do appreciate a little bit of water in the winter time. When these get really dehydrated, they pull themselves low to the ground. See so the Puntia cantorae. A little bit scabby this one, but again, I think that's just down to the environment. It's a lovely variegated Canthocereus tetragonus called the fairy castle cactus Got some stress colors in it as well these pinky orangey colors euphorbia horrida lovely color in the epidermis of these i know clyde morris is a big fan of these plants as well Another euphorbia, Suido garbosa. So these last few I'll just show you where they are because they're a bit awkward to get on. It's got a jade plant there. That one is Senecio stapelliformis. This Arista Allo Aristata. I did repot this again recently because there was some white mold growing on the top dressing. I don't think it was hurting the plant, it just didn't look very nice. And this huge Euphorbia Lactea, definitely the largest plant I have. Then my 
Sansevieria and some Sansevieria cylindrica. And finally Schlumbergera truncata. Still blooming and has a few more buds to open as yet. And this seed pod that's been on the plant for over a year now and still not ready to come off. So that's it for part two guys, hope you enjoyed. Part three will be coming soon and we'll go through all the plants on the other side facing windowsill. Quite a few more on that windowsill so I think in total these videos will be in four parts. So thank you very much for watching, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know every time I upload a new video. You'll be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salamat Bob Alam, bye for now.